everyone, it's me, Miss Heather, and I'm so happy that you are here at our circle time today. Hello! Okay, well, I'm going to grab my great big red magical binoculars and find out who is here. Let's see. Oh, I'm looking all over the world out to our huge big circle and I see Beckett and Owen, hi! And I see Callie and Henry, and look, there's Leah, Tommy and Robin. Oh, and I see so many more friends all over the world. Oh, thank you for coming today and watching our circle time. And make sure that your parent pushes the subscribe button so you can watch our circle time every single day and not miss one show. All right, well, can you tell me, is it morning, afternoon, evening, or is it nighttime where you are in the world? Wow, there are so many people having so many different times of the day, all at the same time. Okay, well, for those of you where it's morning time and you just woke up, let's sing in our circle time good morning hello song to you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to all our friends. Good morning to you and you and you and you and you. And good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all of our other friends all over the world. Let's have a great R circle time. It's days of the week time. Do you know what today is? <gasps> wow, so many of my friends know. I'm so happy and proud of you. That's right, today is Monday. Can you say that? Today is Monday. Very good. Well, if today is Monday, that means yesterday was, that's right, yesterday was Sunday. Very good. Okay, well, let's practice that again. Yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Okay, well, if today is Monday, that means tomorrow will be, and it starts with a sound, t -t -t. that's all right, tomorrow will be Tuesday. Can we say that? Tomorrow will be Tuesday. All right, let's do that one more time, starting with Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. And tomorrow will be, shout it out, Tuesday. Very good, everyone. Well, can you get your snappers or your clappers out? Very good. Let's sing days of the week. Days of the week. All right, ready? One, two, three. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday days of the week. Okay, this time I'm going to sing the song, but you will see the word up on the screen. Are you ready? The name of the day. Okay, one, two, three, days of the week. 
Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. <laughs> that went by really quickly, didn't it? Well, you did a great job singing and practicing your days of the week. Good job. It's color of the daytime. Okay, I'm going to give you some hints. And let's see if you can figure out what the special color of the day is. Let's see. Hmm. This is a bright color. And let's see. You might see it on street lights when your special adult is driving around. It's not red or green. It's the one in the middle. Uh, let's see. The sun is this color. It starts with the sound, yeah. Very good. Today's special color is yellow. And yellow is one of my most favorite colors. I think because it makes me feel cheerful and happy. What about you? Do you love yellow? Great. Can you look around your world right now and find anything that is yellow? Wow, there are lots of yellow objects in our world. Good job. Okay, I have a few pictures of items that are yellow that I want to share with you. And then we will sing a song about the color yellow. Okay, here's the first one. Yellow taxi. Yellow baby chick. Yummy yellow corn on the cob. Yellow lemon. Yellow school bus. All right, here are four painted hands. There's red, blue, yellow, and green. Can you lightly touch the yellow hand? Great job with all of those yellow objects. You just built new words in your brain. Okay, which one was your favorite? I heard a lot of people say the little fluffy yellow chick. That was one of my favorites too. All right, here's our song. We're going to spell out the word yellow and we're going to sing about it. Are you ready? It goes like this. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun, when the day has just begun, Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. <laughs> Let's sing that together. Ready? Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun, when the day has just begun, Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Great job singing, everyone. And I hope that you find lots of yellow in your world today. And I hope it brings you lots and lots of happy thoughts. It's time to sing one of our favorite songs. We are going to sing to three of our friends today. And they don't know who they are right now. It's a surprise. We are going to be singing to Shauna, Ethan, and Jillian. Hello. 
<laughs> Surprise! We are going to be singing Hey There, one of our favorite songs that make us feel so special and good. So, in order for our friends to hear from way across the world, you need to sing it really, 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 really loud, all right? Okay, the first one is for Shauna. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey there, Shauna. You're a real cool cat. You've got a lot of this and a lot of that. And we all think that you are neat. So come on down and do the chugga chugga beat. Ready? Hands up, sugar, sugar, a sugar, sugar. Hands down, sugar, sugar, a sugar, sugar. Hands side, sugar, sugar, a sugar, sugar. Hands side, sugar, sugar, a sugar, sugar. Okay, next one for Ethan. Ready? Hey there, Ethan. You're a real cool cat. You've got a lot of this and a lot of that. And we all think that you are neat. So come on down and do the sugar sugar beat. Hands up, sugar sugar, a sugar sugar. Hands down, sugar sugar, a sugar sugar. Hands side, sugar sugar, a sugar sugar. Hands side, sugar sugar, a sugar sugar. All right, last one for Jillian. Ready? Hey there, Jillian. You're a real cool cat. You've got a lot of this and a lot of that. And we all think that you are neat. So come on down and do the chugga chugga beat. Hands up, chugga chugga, a chugga chugga. Hands down, chugga chugga. A chugga chugga. Hand side chugga chugga. A chugga chugga. Hand side chugga chugga. A chugga chugga. Hi, Max. Hey, what if we sang to Max real quick? Let's see. Hey there, Max. Wait a minute. Is he a cool cat or a cool dog? <laughs> we'll say dog. Hey there, Max. You're a real cool dog. You got a lot of this and a lot of that. And we all think that you are neat. So come on down and do the chugga chugga beat. Ready? Let's say pause up. Pause up, chugga chugga. A chugga chugga. Pause down, chugga chugga. A chugga chugga. Pause side, chugga chugga, a chugga chugga. Pause side, chugga chugga, a chugga chugga. Yes, you are really cool. <laughs> Great singing, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that, Shauna, Ethan, and Jillian. It's time to create some handprint art. Are you ready? Great. Okay, let's check our supplies. Do you have a piece of paper? Wonderful. Do you have some yellow or orange paint? Great. How about paint brushes? Excellent. Do you happen to have little tiny strips of colored construction paper that we can use for our art today? I'll show it to you really close. That's about how big mine are. They're yellow and orange. Great. Do you know what animal we are creating today? <gasps> wow, some of you do. Okay. This animal makes a really big sound. It goes like this. Roar! Can you do that? Roar! It growls. And this animal 
can live in the jungle or in the savanna. This animal also starts with the sound O. That's right. We are going to make a lion with our handprint today. I'm really excited. You know how much I love creating handprint art. Okay, I also have googly eyes. They're real teeny, teeny, teeny googly eyes. You don't need them, but I had a few, so I'm going to use them for the lion. And I also have colored pencils to add some detail to the lion as well. Okay, but do you have your hand ready? Good. And let's see, do you have your yellow paint or orange paint? Or maybe you want to make a purple lion. Whatever color you want the body and head of your lion to be, go ahead and pick that right now. I am going to be picking orange. So I'm going to be painting my hand orange, my entire hand. Okay, if you can do this on your own, excellent. If you need help from your special adult, please make sure you ask for that and give your special adult an extra big smile for helping you gather all of these important supplies. Okay, let's see. I'm going to grab my paintbrush and I'm going to begin painting my entire hand. All right. And remember when we paint our entire hand, we need to go quickly, but not super fast. We want to make sure that we don't get paint everywhere. But we want to make sure to cover our entire hand. And we are going to be pressing our entire hand onto the paper. So I'm going to grab some orange, paint it all over, make sure I get everything covered. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my handprint and put it flat on my paper. Just like this. I make sure that I have it nice and flat and I get all the paint on there. I can show it to you. There's my handprint. <laughs> okay, now I have a very orange hand. What should I do? <gasps> That's the right. Before I do any more art, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hand. I'll be right back. This is the perfect time for you to wash your hands too. All right, my hands are clean. How about your hands? Did you wash them off? Great. And when you use the non-toxic washable paint, it comes right off. Okay, so now I have my handprint and I'm going to fill in all the legs. I'm going to, going to be connecting the legs with the orange paint and filling in this area right here where my handprint didn't touch the paper, just like that. Bringing it all the way down. Okay, so now I have his, this lion's body all filled in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my paper over just like this. Just like that. So that my lion will be standing up. Okay, did you see that? 
just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take my little pieces of paper. I have orange and yellow cutouts, cutout strips, see that? And I'm going to be creating his big mane, and that's the big hair area around his head. And I'm also going to give him a tail. So I'm going to grab my glue. I have my glue right here. And I'm going to just add a little bit of glue. A little goes a long way. I'm going to give him a big, long yellow tail, just like that. And then, ooh, I forgot one important step. I'm, I'm going to give him a little bit bigger face area. So he's gonna have a bigger face so that I can give him his smiley face just like that. And now I'm going to continue to glue the little strips around that. You see, just like this. I'm going to do the yellow and the orange. I love lions. They are beautiful creatures. They are very smart and they have their families that are very important to them. Have you seen a lion in the zoo? You have. Have you ever seen a lion in the wild? Oh, some of you have. It's really, really exciting. So I'm gluing his big mane and it looks like I created these strips really, really long. Yours may be as long as mine or not as long. Either way is just fine. It's almost like the sun. So let's see, just like this. doing with your mane? <laughs> I'm thinking, well, I haven't decided yet, but I think I may use my special scissors and cut down the mane a little bit because it looks like I created a really long, long mane. Okay, I don't want to cover his face up. All right, now I'm going to get my two little googly eyes. Put his little googly eyes on. Just like that. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to, of course, give him a smiley face. <laughs> and now let's see what do you think I need to add I have a very happy lion do you think I need to add anything else are you going to add anything else he has his mane and he has his smiley face and he has a long tail and you know what I'm pretty proud of him how about your lion? Oh, I would love to see your lion. I'm going to use my binoculars and look. Oh, wow. I see so many beautiful lions out there. I see really colorful ones. Great job, everyone. Okay, well, I was thinking that I'm going to name my lion Larry the Lion. And I am very proud to show my family my lion. I hope you're proud of your lion too. Can we make one more big lion noise? Roar! <laughs> Great.
great job, everyone. That was a lot of fun.